Okay, let's take a quick walk around and see how things look here for spring. The daffodils are blooming and I'm seeing hyacinth and crocus in here. And I really think that the Banat garden has grown very well. I've got some tulips in here that I can see. I can't wait for them to start showing me their stuff. Let's look over. And so I'm not sure if I really went into detail here, but we bought rubber mats um, to put in the culvert just to help us with weeding. Let's see what else we've been working on. I have some urns here that I brought out that have, I think these are daffodils also, late blooming daffodils. And then we've been cleaning out the beds. I need to add additional supports to the obelisks, but I've planted some climbers in here. over here. I have added um, raised bed soil because that's just going to be depleted a little bit every year. So I've topped those off. I've pruned back. Um, you can see I've got some climbers here that I am training. So that'll be nice to see those. I do need to bring in more mulch. If you notice that mulch pile over there by Miller and the Arbor is gone. <laughs> it's been there since September. So I finally have picked through that and unfortunately I now need more mulch. I see some piles on the driveway of pine that we just raked up, pine needles. Still waiting for those transition pieces. They should be here any day. There's the new arbor that we just put up. Miller. I don't know if you've noticed, but Chardonnay is not with us. She went to her final reward. So it's been a tough couple of months for us getting used to not having her here with us. She will definitely be missed. She was one of my favorite gardeners. And we just started the fountain and I'm so tickled to see that. Somebody needs to turn off their car alarm. <laughs> uh, let's head down here. When we ran the electric for the fountain, uh, that caused a little bit of a mess, so we need to mulch that up. But I've been slowly working on cleaning the beds. And you can see I've got my fountain started over here too. I'm hearing somebody excited about warmer weather back there. I hear a boat ripping and roaring. Um, but we've got that fountain started. So everything is slowly waking up. And I love showing you the changes each month because I know when I shared with you last month, the grass wasn't green. The standard is looking pretty wonky. Um, the grass wasn't green. Everything was just looking tired and sleepy, but it's so nice to see things finally waking up. This is as far as I've made it. I did the entire front yard uh, for the spring prune. So I'm going to be working on this this week. And I need to clean out the lamb's ear here. The lamb's ear is so beautiful, but you can see that it is waking up also. Now that's crazy. I mean, it's not that warm. We've got somebody out there on a wave runner. I hope they're wearing a wetsuit because that water has got to be freezing. The temperature here today maybe got up to 60. Our nights are still getting a little bit cooler. It looks like for the next three days or so, um, our nights are gonna get down to about 30. So those fountains uh, could freeze, but I just couldn't wait. I wanted to have those on. So, um, I've got some climbers here. I've been having a really good time planting things and trying to clean up from uh, all of that fence mess. The pink tags, if you see that, that means that it is a one-time bloomer to remind me not to cut the growth. 
I still have to find a place for here. Um, that's all milkweed and butterflies love that. Um, but I'm thinking that I want a place to kind of hide that, maybe back behind the hydrangeas where they can get to it. But they just end up looking a little bit unwieldy. And so I don't want them near the front. We have planted two roses in each planter on each side of the benches. And Ken also staked down all of my benches for me so that we didn't have to keep them in the garage anymore. Let's head down here to the Star Garden. All of the roses are planted and they just look kind of small because they don't have their growth yet, but they are gonna grow really quick. Let's head down here. The grass is starting to fill in. We did seed, but then you have a couple of weeks where you can't use your uh, weed preventer. So I'm waiting until I hit that point. Um, you might be saying, what am I doing with this portion here? I wanted some kind of a um, compass, a rose compass. And that's something that says north, south, east, west, but I just can't find anything. So what I've decided is I'm just going to plant Napita in here and see how that works for us. But I've also been trying to figure out um, how I want to transition this um, so that the bench doesn't look so crazy to me. So I'm still playing with that. And you can see all of the boxwood in here. This is Little Missy boxwood. Let's look down here at the Peggy Martins. Do you remember we did a video on um, training them into spheres? And so you can see here how they're starting to just flush and I really think it's going to be special. So I have also done a um, starting a sphere here and then I have uh, one down here. My standards that I just planted. Ignore Miller's haircut. <laughs> she got a very rough shave um, while we were going through the, the sadness with Chardonnay and I just haven't had the time to clean her up. Look at this, this is our Peggy Martin trained up. She's looking very pretty. I bet you, and, and I'm not sure if it looks green or yellow on the screen, but it's very bright green. Okay, oh, there's my shadow. We've been having a lot of rain. Um, let's see, we built a, a new fire pit because the other one that we had was over here to the left and it was just too close to the plants. So it made sense for us just to put something there in the center. Very simple. So you can see everything is, all of the roses are waking up. But this week I do need to get in here and start cleaning up um, the dead or yeah, the winter for the napita, it's just twiggy. And then I need to finish cleaning up the stand, um, these roses here on the side, take them down for their spring prune. Oh, I've got one other fun thing to show you that I've been putting together. Over here on the left side of the house, I wanted something to, um, to decorate the fence. And I've got a garden prayer that I hung here. And I'm sure that you all are familiar with this plaque, a gardener's prayer. Love that. And then down here, I hung um, planters, and so I've ordered um, supertunias, 
uh, to hang from here. And I thought that those would be real pretty. These are all of the pier pots and the roses that I need to find a home for. They've been wintering in here and I've been kind of picking through there. And I think I shared this with you in the last video. We put up these trellises and I'm still trying to figure out which climbers are gonna go here, but I think these look real pretty on this wall. So there you go. All right, well, thanks so much, everybody. I'll see you in the next video.